Hi, let me explain a couple of different ways to create customized items. The first one is you can search for the simple customized name tag. It happens to be this URL up here, um, thingiverse.com slash thing colon 10 26 34 8. But we'll try to do a search for it and see if we can find it here. So let's see. Here we go. So here it is, simple customize name tag right here. And you can see there are some others that people have done, but um, we'll just pick this one right here because that's what it looks like. And what I want to do is I want to customize it. So I'll click the word customize. And over here it says, whoa, guess what? To do it, you can now use something called customizer. This is sort of new. So I click launch the app. And now I'm in here, so I want to put in my name, Andy Mann, and I'll put is the man, and uh, look at this over on the right and sort of see how it looks and say, yeah, that looks pretty good. If I say, you know, maybe I can make it the fonts a little bigger, maybe five, and I'll wait a minute, and it fits, and I say six. And then it'll be too big, you'll see. Oh, nope, it actually fits. And I'll say just off the edge of the screen is a little button that says create the thing. And I'll call it uh, Andy Man Name Tag. And I'll hit create the thing. And it says, okay, it goes to my queue, it's being generated. Go to my queue. Here it is being processed. It's almost done. I can have it email me when I'm done. Great. Let me view my thing. Doesn't give me an image, but that's okay. It gives me a uh, download this thing. And you can't see it, but down on the bottom of the screen is a download folder, which is in a zip file. And um, I'll go ahead and close that little window. And I'll open up the folder here. And here it is, Andy Man name tag, and open up this, and inside of here is a file, and this is the file right here. This is an STL file. It doesn't show the extension on here. I guess that's because of how Windows works, but I would upload that to my printer. Give it a go.